Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So one more alphabet pattern we are going to cover today that this pattern we have to cover. In the previous pattern we have already seen with respect to alphabets that we were printing like this, then A, then A, B, A, B, C, A, B, C, D, up to A, B, C, D, E, F, like that. And the logic was very simple. We have to create a two for loop, convert your alphabet into character value, and then simple keep printing it. So what today we are going to talk about see this the first line is a then in the next line we are going to print BB then CCC then DDD E and then up to F like that. Right, so let's see how to solve this problem. It's very simple. So what exactly I'm going to do that first of all the pattern that we are going to print is like this a then we are going to print B and then B then I'm going to print C and C then I'm going to print D D and then we have to print D and then we have to print E over here. And then the final is F we have to print in the and then if you see a kind of triangle over here, we can see it. And then we can create a triangle. You can create it like this. And if you create a table out of it, so let me just create a table like this. And then I can create number of rows. So let's see, this is my first row. This is my second row. This is my third row. This is my fourth. Fine. Then I'm going to create the column. So column number one, column number two, column number three, four, and then fifth column like that. And if you really want to give a number, you can give a number either it is one, two, three, four, five, or you can give a number like one, two, uh, zero, two, uh, five also you can give that. So let's say I'm giving something like this one, then two, then third, fourth row, fifth row, and sixth row. Same thing, first column, second column, third column, fourth column, fifth column, and the sixth column that we have. It means, Let's say this is representing by I and the columns are represented by J. So row and column that we have to maintain here. A simple logic that we have to write. So we know that we have to start with the for loop. But before starting the for loop, what exactly I'm going to do that I'm going to maintain one alpha variable. This alphabet variable is equal to initially, let's say 65, because we know that the 65 is the ASCII value of what? ASCII value of A. That we know that. I'm going to start a for loop where integer this is for row i equal to what let's say i'm starting with zero you can start zero to less than equal to five or you can say i one to six also you can write it i'm writing i is equal to zero and i less than equal to what less than equal to five i'm going to maintain and then i plus plus i'm going to write this is always constant number of rows you can see one to five so rows always remain same we don't need to change anything in the first for loop now the second for loop we know that for j i'm going to write let's see for the columns j equal to zero and then i'm again i'm writing j less than equal to what less than equal to i because j is what dependent on i only because you can see that first row we have only one column in the second row we have two columns in the third row we have three columns in the fourth row we have four columns are available it means for every call every row number of columns are getting increased and then if you see in the first row we just need to print only once so we have to start the code like this zero to one only it means once we have to execute and then keep increasing the value of i so let's see one two two and then the way like the column also will be like this zero zero and zero one like this then zero one zero two zero three like that so we can see a pattern here that the value of j is actually dependent on i so that's why i'm writing j less than equal to i over here please do not write less than equal to five otherwise it will give you wrong output and then starting bracket here then what exactly I'm going to do? I'm going to write a simple print statement, not the print ln. I simply write print, print the value of what? Print the value of first of all alpha that we have already created 65. But this alpha we have to print, we have to convert into a character. So first we convert into a character. Why? Because this 65 will be converted into a character, so it will become a now, right? And then what? Plus put a space over here because after this we need a space. Because we need a pattern like this a then b then space this space we need that so let's see printing with a space this internal loop is done now what we have to do in the next line we have to print b so what we have to do guys this value of alpha we have to keep increasing after the inner loop so what exactly i'm going to do this alpha plus plus we have to write okay so alpha plus plus will be uh, alpha will be increased by one and then the inner loop outer loop is also done so this is the inner loop and this is the outer loop and alpha plus plus will be increased after that and one more thing after the inner loop after this inner loop we have to do what we have to return we have to write one ln over here we have to write a new line generation we have to do that so print ln also we have to do 
okay so let's uh, test this how exactly it will work so first time let's see the value of i and the value of uh, j and the value of alpha fine i equal to 0 j equal to 0 alpha is equal to 65 you can see so first time i equal to 0 0 less than equal to 5 condition is uh, true j equal to 0 j less than equal to so 0 less than equal to 0 condition is satisfied yes so it will come over here what is the value of alpha alpha is 65 convert alpha into character and then condition is satisfied simple print it on the console so let's see i'm just printing on the console somewhere over here i'll do one thing let's see i'm printing over here print on the console here again j value the value of j will be increased j will become one i is still zero one less than equal to zero no condition is not satisfied right guys so condition is not satisfied so it will come out of the for loop and the value of alpha will be increased now so alpha will become 66 now fine then again the value of i will be increased so the value of i is equal to 1 j equal to 0 fine uh, 0 less than equal to 1 yes 0 less than equal to 1 condition is satisfied now next time what is the value of alpha the value of alpha is 66 66 will be what b so b will be printed on the console before that we have already written a new line so the new line from the new line b will be printed over here okay after that value of j will become one i is still one alpha is still 66 one less than equal to one yes condition is again satisfied print the value of alpha once again with a space so again the b will be printed over here because we are not using ln over here so generate in the same line with a space okay then this is also done after that the for loop j equal to two i is equal to one two less than equal to one no condition is not satisfied it will come out of this loop and increase the value of alpha by one so alpha will become 67 and print ln generate a new line cursor will come over here then again i is equal to what i is equal to 2 j is equal to 0 so for 2 0 2 1 and 2 2 three times loop will be started and the value of 67 is what when you convert 67 into character the ascii value to character it will be c so c will be printed three times c c and c over here next time i is equal to 3 so the j will be like this 0 1 2 and 3 and the value of alpha is 68 <clears throat> so it will come over here and four times for 0 1 2 and 3 four times it will be printed so d will be printed four times so likewise it will keep running the loop in the next line again e will be printed five times and then finally f will be printed so here you can see a pattern the way we were expecting right so let's see this code in eclipse and then how to solve it it's very simple so let's go to eclipse i'm quickly create a for loop first of all i'm going to maintain one variable that is alpha variable which is equal to initially 65 and then i'm going to create a one outer loop which is integer i is equal to zero i less than equal to five and then i plus plus clear and then after that integer j is equal to zero and j less than equal to i and then j plus plus as j is dependent on i over here after that uh, what i'm gonna do i simple system dot system dot out dot print i'll be writing not ln so let me remove ln from here and what we have to print first of all we have to print alpha and this convert this alpha into a character value fine so when you print it and along with that you print a space also because we need this space guys right after b c there is a space after c this is space then again this is space is available and then what you have to do then you have to increase the value of alpha by one so do not forget to increase this value alpha by one and then you generate a new line with print ln and that's it the logic is ready and then you run it again let's see so the output we are getting like this a b b c c c d e and f to f we are getting it exactly same output that we are getting it over here as well if you don't write increase the value of alpha what will happen in that case in this case see this the output will be every time a a a will be printed so if someone is expecting this output then you can simple do not increase the value of alpha every time we just need to deal with alpha is equal to 65 convert into character and keep printing it so you can print a triangle with all the a's over here tomorrow you want to write let's see with 66 all the b's will be printed on the console so you can see all b will be printed on the console but in this case what we want in this case we want 65 and then we have to keep increasing the value 
accordingly like that now let's see if i'm writing instead of 65 i'm writing 70 over here so let's see how exactly the pattern will be printed so we know that okay for 70 this is f so f will be the first row and then up to k it will be printed on the console right guys so you can check accordingly so remember this range for alphabetic order for capital a to capital z the ascii number range is 65 to 90 and for a small a to small z is 97 you have to start up to 122 this is a range that you have to make so if you write let's see 97 over here it will just start printing in the small letter like this so this also you can print if you write alpha is equal to 97 so this pattern you will be get it with the small letters now but the pattern will remain same the logic will remain same so i hope this is clear now a very very simple program and this is very famous interview question also people might ask you in your college placement as well and for experienced people also might ask you so that's all for this particular video guys i hope you are liking this series if you're liking it please comment share and uh, like the video subscribe to the channel a lot of good things are coming in future i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all